hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog so today is wednesday it's september 30th and today is the day that i am launching my very first fall collection you guys cozy season is out now today is actually launch day that i'm filming this but by the time you're watching this the collection is already out so go ahead and check it out um it is 12 p.m so i'm getting ready to help Devin set up for these product pictures yes you guys i literally am taking pictures and launching on the same day and that is because i really wanted to get this out today so we're just gonna make it work that's literally how my life goes it's just like oh i want to do this today so we're just gonna make it work i was gonna wait until we got into october to actually launch it but people have been asking and i'm just like you know what just go ahead and do it and then i have a video going up today how to make lip gloss so i was making one of the fall glosses in that video so i wanted to just make sure that everything was available because i mentioned it in that video so you know that's just what i'm doing today i didn't really have much else planned except for filming another video my small business promo video which i just got done doing so if you haven't seen that video as well make sure you go check that out um yeah so i didn't have any other plans besides that so i'm like well let's just launch the collection we can do the product shots really quickly it doesn't take us long once we get everything set up it's just really easy to pull one gloss out put the next one in then we do the swatches like we're pretty much experts at this now we pretty much got it down to a science on how we like to get our product shots so it's not going to take us long so we're going to be doing that today i just finished drinking my protein shake so now i need to figure out what i'm going to eat today what what are we going to eat while we're in here working because i need to figure that out before we start setting up because knowing me i would just forget and not eat and i cannot do that anymore so i'm about to figure out what's for lunch but i wanted to film this video because i want to show you guys how we set everything up for the product shots especially now since i'm in this new space um i do have a video on my youtube channel that i filmed months and months ago on how to take product shots for your business and i will link that video up above for you guys to check that out if you haven't seen that but i wanted to kind of do like a more in-depth updated one so that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna show you how we kind of use the space that i have now you don't need a lot of space you don't need you know a ton of things but the way that we set it up we do have equipment so we do have lights we do have cameras so we like to do it that way but you can do it however you want to as long as the lighting is good you can use natural lighting um, as long as you have like a table and some paper or something however you want the backdrop to look as long as you have all that stuff set up in one space and you have good lighting you can easily easily take your pictures on your iPhone I have another video where I talked about how I got product shots with my iPhone that was for my essentials collection and I actually did that shoot outside so that was really cool um i you know it's so cool to just look to see how i've grown over the months you know but that's what we're doing today you guys how to take product shots we're going to be talking about that i'm going to show you guys the glosses right now because i have the container over here and i want to show you guys what these glosses are looking like because i'm so excited i literally just slapped the camera in that last clip at the end but that is totally fine here are my fall glosses you guys cozy season in full effect we got your deep brown we got some oranges we got some reds we got some yellows we got some whites with the shifts because y'all know i love the white glosses with the shifts on there so yes i love i have one that has a green shift which is this one and then this one has a copper shift as you can see they're so beautiful um and they're in my new tubes with the logo printed on there and then i also have this special one right here so this is rosé and rosé is special because of the fact that that is my breast cancer awareness month gloss so that is why this one is in this different packaging I'm very 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 excited about cozy season you guys and i love my tubes so much and then these ones these are the fat wand tubes so those applicators are super big they pick up a lot of products so make sure you guys check out cozy season it's out now like i said and don't forget to use your youtube squad discount it is always linked down below honestly you guys <laughs> There is no shame in my game because of the fact that we use this room, okay? And it looks like we use this room. So Devin brought in the stuff that he needs for the pictures. So we're gonna have to clean up in here because 
I just can't even look at this anymore and I just need to get things in order. But yeah, I definitely use my vanity and I tend to leave all of my makeup brushes out like that and I'm gonna put them away. <laughs> I need to wash them, honestly, but I'm gonna put them away. I'm gonna clean off my counter, I have paper towel rolls empty, ones that's about to be empty. I just need to clean up in here. This stuff over here has been here since my housewarming. The boxes need to go out like y'all. Things just get so crazy when you're so busy, you know? So it seems like I may have picked the worst day to be at home creating content and everything because they mow every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, they mow and blow and all of that. So that's what we're dealing with right now but thank god you know the video that i needed to film where i actually needed to have audio in the video i filmed that earlier they did start mowing but you couldn't really hear it too much i don't think so yeah i'm i'm learning that these are the things that are happening sometimes i don't think about stuff like this and i don't notice it but now that i'm actually on my schedule and i'm working every wednesday like every single wednesday i'm filming a video so now i'm starting to notice like hmm I'm hearing this noise every single Wednesday like clockwork, you know? Anyway, um, it's, yeah, it's lunchtime. I need to go start helping Devin and just get everything set up. I have a Zoom call at three, so I have to get these product shots done before that so that Devin can be editing them and everything. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. So, this is my life and I'm so happy to be documenting all these moments. I also have it on my agenda that I need to take some time to sit outside today, get some fresh air because I'm literally at work, at home, at work, at home. The only time that I'm outside is when I take the split second to go outside to get in my car. Once I get home or get to the shop, then I'm back inside. So I really want to go sit out by the pool, but we'll see if that happens. Um, I know I'm probably not going to be able to get in because, y'all, it is cold. Like, I literally had to turn my heat on yesterday, and I was not happy about that. So, I'm kind of sad because I was not prepared for the fall weather to change so quickly. And I don't think I really fully had my last pool day that I would have liked to have. So, I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully, I end up by the pool today. So, I forgot that I had Chipotle last night. So, I have a lot of Chipotle left in here. So, that's what I'm going to eat for lunch. But, I'm making dinner so that by the time I get done working, I don't have to stop and make dinner. So, I'm going to do shrimp. These are frozen shrimp. So, I'm just like thawing them out right now. Uh, I'm going to do honey garlic shrimp. And, uh, what else am I going to do? Broccoli and rice. So... Yeah, I just washed up all these dishes over here. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Hello? 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 <laughs> Devin is in the cut. And this is what's happening. We're utilizing all of our resources. So I just wanna show you guys a little bit of what goes on when we're gonna be doing our product shots. So Devin, you know, Devin is like a film producer, director, whatever. So he has all this nice fancy equipment. So we got a C stand right here. And we use this for the podcast as well to do the overhead light similar to this. But he does this, so this is a, a light right here and he puts a soft box on it and then we use a table and some kind of something to hold up the paper that we're going to be using for the backdrop so today we're being innovative and we're using the box <laughs> for my housewarming which is very very good very resourceful Devin yes okay we didn't know what we were gonna lean the paper on but that works um, and literally I have this Crayola construction paper. I think I bought this when I was in college, you guys. Like it was in one of my old bags at home, but I saw this orange color and there's a brown color in there. So I thought that it would be perfect for the fall glosses. I'm actually trying to figure out which one I prefer. So here's the paper right here. So we got orange and brown. And I like both of them. So I don't know which one we're gonna use, but we're about to figure it out once we turn all these lights on. So this light right here that Devin's putting together, this is a softbox light. That's actually my light. This is Devin's light. Devin, what do you call these lights? 
Bi color lights. Yeah. That's what this is, okay? So we have two of those. This one and then that one, which is attached to the soft box. And then I just have two regular soft box lights. I don't have a ring light anymore because my ring light died, but I think I kind of do want to buy another ring light. I don't know how I feel, but this light, it just goes together like that and then you put the bulb on the inside and then you plug it in. So yeah, this is our little setup, okay? It's very, very nice to be honest, to set this up, super easy to set up. And then we'll probably just like tape. Do I even have tape? I have tape here somewhere. Oh yeah, this tape right here. So I have tape here. So we're gonna tape the paper up to this box so that it'll stay up. And I'll probably use two papers for the background so that you don't see through it. You don't wanna see like whatever is on the box. You don't wanna see that in the background of the pictures. Cause when you put the bright lights on, Sometimes you can see right through the paper. So you might have to layer up your paper a little bit, which is fine. Do what you gotta do. Make it do what it do, use what you have. And like I said, if you don't have all these lights, it's totally fine. Devin's putting the diffuser on the soft box so that it's not super harsh lighting. Soft boxes give you really nice diffused light. That's what we want. But yeah, you can use natural sunlight. You can take your products outside. You can do whatever you want to do. But please make sure that the product shots are nice, set up, clean, and make people want to click and shop. So I definitely wanted to show y'all a little bit of the behind the scenes. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when we get the lights turned on and get the glosses in. I'm about to go grab the glosses out of the living room right now and the boxes. So we're gonna do the gloss next to the box again. I think that was super cute for the queen collection don't you think so mm -hmm. that's what we're gonna do since i have boxes for all of them so let me go get the stuff real quick so here are the two boxes that we're gonna be photographing and then here are all my glosses so these are my personal ones and i always like to take the product shots of my personal ones because i do swatches as well so it's super easy for me to just swatch right out of my own tubes and keep these separate from the inventory obviously so yeah these are all mine i have my label on this one already so that's perfect um and yeah these are all of the fall colors. Oh, cozy season. I am just obsessed with how these colors came out, you guys. Like, wow. They are so pretty. Like, these, these are my tones. This mauve one. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Y'all, these are my tones. So, yep, we're about to get it set up. I'm excited, we're using both colors of the paper. So we've decided we're using brown for the back and orange for the bottom. We're gonna test it out, see how it looks, but I think it's gonna look good regardless. So, happy fall time, happy cozy season. Shop now, collections out now. <laughs> So I just put one of my Queen Collection glosses in this box and then I'm just gonna put this one into this box. So we like to have a gloss in the box so that they have some weight to them so that they'll stand up when we are doing the picture. So I just wanna give y'all all the tips and tricks, everything that I'm doing, I wanna show y'all. So yeah, this is one of my old glosses. Oh my gosh, look at it, it looks crazy. And I've been mixing it with lip liner and other glosses and all that, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna put that one in this box. All right, glosses are in the boxes. Devin is starting to turn on some lights. As you guys can see, we have the camera on the tripod now and the camera is vertical, okay? My website layout has all of the product shots vertical. So I have to take my pictures like this in order for them to fit properly in the frame once I upload them to my site. So that's really important to keep in mind like know which style your pictures are for your website like are they vertical are they horizontal so that you can make sure that you're taking your photos in the right way because if not it's gonna look crazy with the crop and everything and i hate when that happens when we first started doing this i would forget and we would do all the pictures horizontal and then have to do them over and then Devin was kind of mad at me huh? <laughs> He was not happy about having to retake them pictures. And neither was I because don't nobody got time. So he'll turn the camera on and he'll, you know, start to get the settings however he wants them. And then 
whenever he's ready, that's when I'll go ahead and throw something in the frame and get in position as well. Y'all, I just looked over and saw my sunflower and why do I want these flowers in the picture? Why am I being extra? I don't know if this is gonna be a real thing. I'm just being extra, but I did wanna do a little something cool for this, but let's see. So this is what it's looking like in the camera. And it looks like this in real life chaos, <laughs> but you can't even tell. I think I like that. We're testing things out. Why am I whispering? Why am I whispering? Ooh, hold up. That's kind of cute. I kind of like that. Stop playing what my pictures are looking like. So I had to manipulate the flower a little bit until I figured out how I really liked it, but this is it. I found it, I see it, this is what I like. So yeah, I'm just gonna knock these out real quick. Nine more glosses to go. Yeah. All right, so I'm literally just swapping things out here. He's clicking, I'm swapping. So I've marked where the back of the gloss is so that it's easy for me to just line it up so that all the glosses are in the same spot. I put it up there straight? Huh? I put it up there straight? Like the logo straight? Wow. Let me turn it so I don't want this a little bit. Okay. And here are our images. Which way I gotta go this way? Not that way. So yes, you guys, super quick. So now I'm in swatch mode. So I just did a swatch of Cozy Season. And I'm about to get pictures of the arm swatches now. I think this color is so beautiful. All right, so this is Rose, and this is our special shade because 50% of these proceeds are gonna be donated towards Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So make sure you guys pick up Rose. It's this really pretty dusty pink nude gloss. So I love this one, and it smells like strawberry shortcake, y'all. It smells so good, and it's so nice and shiny. So this is one of my favorite shades. This is Ginger. I mean, look at Ginger. Look at it. Look, look. I'm trying to give y'all a good look at it. This light is trying to play me though. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This color right here is called Cookies and Cream and it would look so pretty with my either my nude lip liner or my cocoa lip liner. Brown lip liner with this. Look at the copper shift on it, it's so nice. I'm only showing y'all a few of the swatches. We're almost done with all the product shots, so. I wanted to highlight some of my faves. And last but not least is brown sugar. Oh my God, look at this. Now this definitely with the cocoa lip liner would be so pretty, even just by itself. This brown, bronze brown is so pretty, you guys. Yes, look how it hits the light. Oh my goodness, I love it. Lunchtime, so I have my Chipotle here. And then here is dinner. So we got shrimp, broccoli and cauliflower, and rice from the rice cooker. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope that it was helpful to see kind of the behind the scenes of what we do on the days when we are 
taking product shots. I wanted to add in this screen recording here to show you what the glosses are looking like on my website. I really love it. You guys know sunflowers are my thing. So this is right up my alley. And with the backdrop papers that we use, it really does look like fall for me with the orange and the brown. So I really love this. Make sure you guys are shopping cozy season. Make sure you pick up Rosé, our breast cancer awareness gloss for this year. I'm super excited and grateful to have the opportunity to give back on behalf of Smudge this year. This is gonna be my first year in business coming up in November. So I'm just really, really excited, you guys. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. We are on the road to 20K. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Yeah.